Welcome back, or gamers, to my 15th hobby vlog. So, today, or in this vlog more accurately, because it will probably take me more than a day to paint this guy up, I am painting up the Iron Hills Captain with Maddock, which is a very, very cool pose. Quite formidable looking, as always, excellent detail. <laughs> this is one guy that you just don't want to mess with. Once again, I wish that the Maddock option was a wee bit more competitive, but it is still an awesome model that will be fun to paint up. So, yeah, I'll come back after I've base coated the Iron Hills Captain with Maddock. Welcome back, Wargamers. So I have now finished doing the base coat on my Iron Hills Captain with Maddock. So similar to all the other dwarves, I did the metal in a mixture of lead belcher, and Cantor Blue, the gold and Gehenna's gold, the flesh and Bestigore flesh, so the face, and the red was corn red. However, unlike my other dwarves, this dwarf, since he's a captain, also has some fur, which I did in Rhinoxide. Well, a fur trimming and coat. He doesn't have fur himself, he's a dwarf. So I haven't done the beard, same with all the other ones, because I prefer not to have dark wash on my beards usually. I prefer to uh, do them a, a bit separately. But yeah, so he is now completed. I Well, complete base coated, that is. He's not done yet. I do really like the uh, the captain. So I will come back once he has been washed. So See welcome then. back. So I've done something a little different with the captain. Besides on the face, I used Reikman Flesh Shade. And then I washed the rest of him with Noon Oil, just like all the other doors. But I then washed all the gold areas again in a mixture of Noon Oil. And Warpstone Glow. So that is what I've done with the Iron Hills Captain washed. So I will come back once he is highlighted. See Welcome you then. Welcome back, Wargamers. I have now finished highlighting my Iron Hills Captain with Matok. So I have not done the uh, the weathering yet. I will come back and show you that afterward. But first, how did I paint this Iron Hills Captain? Well, for the armor, I used Cantor Blue and Iron Breaker. Standard for the rest of the Iron Hills. For the red parts, I just anything I need to highlight or clean up was in corn red. I'll get to the cape later. The gold was first Gehenna's gold, then Aurora Armor's gold. The beard was first Dragon Fire. Uh, Fire Dragon Bright, then washed with Reikland Flesh Shade, and after that was then dry brushed with Fire Dragon Bright and Troll Slayer Orange. So yeah, for the cape though, or I'll do the fur first, I just dry brushed that in Gorthor Brown because I like using dry brushing for organic materials. The white on the beard was just cremate white. But yeah, for the cape, I used uh, wet mixing to highlight it up from corn red to wasdaka red to at the very tip, uh, evil sun scarlet. And yeah, I also did that in increments on his crust. So that is how I have done my Iron Hills Captain, and I will come back once he is on his base and weathered. See you then. So welcome back. This is my Iron Hills Dwarf Captain with Maddock finished. So I'll just give you a view of him. Absolutely amazing model. Really wish Maddox were more competitive so I'd have an excuse to take this guy, because he's just amazing. Absolutely amazing. So, yeah, the... For the weathering, I just did a mixture of Viking Flesh Shade and Rhinoxide on his boots, as usual, and on the cape this time as well. 
and a few splotches here and there for mud. And then, once again, what I usually do, Feathering Powder Black Soot from Forge World in many different places. So, yeah, this is Iron Hills Captain of Maddock done. So be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Support your Hobbit hobby and Akman Ruki Astu. Thank you.